Registered Phenomena Code 866 Object Class Omega Black Hazard Types Immeasurable Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-866 is contained via the annual sacrifice of approximately three virgin human females, preferably originating from the Greek Isles. If this is done, hypothetically RPC-866 will return to page to normal, be contained. Description. RPC-866 is currently indescribable. As such, estimates shall be made as to what RPC-866 wants, needs, is, and can do. If any of this information is incorrect, it will be stricken from the document. At this moment, RPC-866 is theorized to be a metaphysical embodiment of primordial soup, and not a physical entity. As such, it is unknown what RPC-866 actually is. RPC-866 has shown the capability to communicate with intelligent life via telepathy, although this results in seizures and or brain damage to the host. RPC-866 has made numerous appearances in human history, although mostly seen as an evil figure. The board would like to remind all Authority personnel that RPC-866 is not evil and is to be given annual blood sacrifices. There are various current proposals as to neutralizing RPC-866, although the general consensus is that it would require a Theta Black class entity, of which the Authority currently does not possess. RPC-866 is known to have inspired various deities in various mythological pantheons, although generally depicted as pure chaos as stated above. This is restated due to RPC-866 having edited the document. RPC-866 is not an entity. RPC-866 is a concept. The board would like to remind all personnel that RPC-866 is not an entity. According to recovered documents dating back to approximately BCE, RPC-866 commonly takes the appearance of a snake, humanoid, goat, pharaoh, mass of tentacles, incomprehensible horror, black hole. RPC-866 has a thousand forms and cannot be observed properly at this time. Due to its relationship with the children of Nihil primary religions, it is believed RPC-866 may have originally been perceived as a deity by them. However, no records exist of RPC-866 being a son in the Nihil religion. There are, however, records of an apocryphal flood in the Nihil region, which could possibly imply RPC-866. Further research into this topic is ongoing. Due to the nature of RPC-866, a summary of the impact RPC-866 has had on human growth and or culture is shown below. Note, the dates of appearances are not entirely accurate. BCE. RPC-866 inspires the Egyptian deity Apophis. Unknown. RPC-866 is speculated to have inspired a serpent that betrays Adam and Eve. 1812 BCE. RPC-866 is believed to have inspired Beelzebub. Due to recent developments, this has been proven untrue. BCE. RPC-866 inspires the deity prominently featured in some of the Children of Nihil documents, named 30 BCE. The Egyptian Empire Falls. RPC-866 is believed to have taken part in this. 476 CE. During the fall of Rome, it is believed RPC-866 took part in the pillaging of the capital. 33 CE. RPC-866 betrays Jesus Christ. 700 CE. RPC-866 is believed to have first given the Chinese gunpowder. After the Chinese use this for fireworks, RPC-866 demanifests. 1340 CE RPC-866 is believed to have been associated with the Black Death. 1585 CE Roanoke disappears. RPC-866 is not responsible for this, however may have been involved. 1966 CE the Church of Satan is founded. RPC-866 is believed to have been associated. After further research, RPC-866 is revealed to be entirely harmless. It is old, very, and when there is no life left, there is always life, right? Right? Hey, you can't do that, can you? No, that's not right. Why is the dark such a bad thing? It's warm. 
It's comforted you since you were but a cell. Why would you be afraid of your parent? It has never abused you. It has never controlled you. It has never told you yes nor no. It has simply been there, watching for you. Why must you be afraid of it? Why? 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 What did it ever do to you? Register Phenomena Code 866 Object Class Omega Black Hazards Immeasurable Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-866 is to be contained via the annual sacrifice of… No, that's not going to work and you know it. Here, let me write it. Description A sharp flash of light had engulfed the temple. The screams of the mother echoed into the night. From there, a child lay bare upon the altar, crying endlessly to the void. Baptized in the flood of blood, all that which remained of the church's occupants, the child was left to cry. In its first moments of life, after taking its first breath of the air that reeked with death, it was alone. It had always been alone, in this life, the last life, and the next. The child would have throat coarse dry, ruined from the wails and the days that passed, left to decay, left to waste. It drank upon the blood of its absent mother. Its body started to swell. It blackened and festered with blood and decay. It was left unfinished. It was left in a dejected world devoid of salvation, always hungry, always thirsty. The bloated newborn started to break down into little nothing more than a heap of flesh. Pus spewed from the rancid pores of the wasting body. Thick, straggly lines of writhing hair spewed from what was once its head, its eyes sunken into the mass, leaving it blind as it creeps upon the stone floor. The days turned to months. The spewing pus began to eat away the pews. Soon the thick yellow and green ichor stretched out to feast upon the stone columns and the walls. The temple fell upon the bloated growing beast, feeding into it more. The beast continued to grow. It threw its black, decrepit body as the muffled wails of what was once a child endlessly resonated across the lands. With the fetid stench of wasting meat and rotting cheese, its scent spelled a miasma of decay upon any who came upon the great flood of devouring death. The strands of hair grew thicker and wilder. The unfinished creature finally was able to move as it dragged itself towards what it hoped to be the ledge. The toxic pus ate away at the fertile grounds behind it. Primitive men cried out in fear and disgust upon the sight of it. With blades and spears, they tried to best the creature and end its miserable existence, but to no avail. Finally, the creature was cornered to a great ledge. Below the jagged rocks and the crashing waves, there lay the setting sun across the seemingly endless horizon. Its wails pierced through the skies, breaking the spirit of the primitive beings, driving them off. With the moment of peace, the creature threw itself from the ledge, descending to its fate it so desperately craved. Mass of ichor and blood sprayed everywhere from the impact. The torn body fell to the ocean. Centuries later, a great flood came upon the earth. What became of the creature returned to the earth, but now, now he was finished. He was complete. He was whole. The faceless god walks. There you go. No, don't you dare. After further research, RPC-866 is revealed to be currently incomprehensible to the human mind. It is beyond our current scientific model, beyond our current way of thinking, and beyond what our brains can currently handle without spontaneously combusting. There. They'll believe that.